Uh, let's do another proof of the slob constant composition. So um, if we have two samples of water obtained from different sources and they're decomposed into their constituent elements, one sample produces 176.0 grams of oxygen and 22.0 grams of hydrogen and the sample two uh, produces 113.6 grams of oxygen and 14.2 grams of hydrogen. Uh, show that the results are consistent with the law of constant composition. So remember for the law of constant composition, we want to use the mass ratio and we want it to be a number that's bigger than one to make it easy for us to work with. So um, if we're going to find the mass ratio, hopefully we see, well, oxygen in each sample is bigger than hydrogen, the mass. So when we do the mass ratio for water, it's going to be the mass of oxygen over the mass of hydrogen. Um, so hopefully the mass ratio of this sample equals the mass ratio of this sample, and that would prove to us the law of com uh, constant composition. So um, the mass ratio of sample one, so we get 176.0 grams divided by 22.0 grams. Uh, examples were pretty good at uh, law of constant composition. 